Lindsay Smith joins me now in studio. Lindsay, a digital living evangelist, is her is her, her is her nom de work. <laughs> how, how you doing, Lindsay? Good. How are you, Lindsay? I called you Lindsay. Well, that's a new name for me. You're tall. <laughs> It's kind of like Gim, Gimsy. What's the the green guy that used to wander? Around? Gumby. Gumby. Gumby Gum- and Pokey. Did you Gim- play with I'm them? Sh- uh, no, I didn't. They were my generation. They were okay. okay. I, you know the thing about Gumby is he made a great eraser. Although he slowly became diminished and he lost his oddly shaped head as you use the point part of his head as an eraser. <laughs> I don't know how I discovered as, that. As long as we don't start calling me Gimsy and or li- what, what did you say? Gumby. Gum- no, but li- what you're whatever your nickname Limsy. was. That's how this, we led into that. <laughs> Limsy. Um, you know, let, let's talk about social media for a few moments, because that's the thing I like to bring you on the show to talk about, is social media stuff. And, man, oh, man, the the riots. How, 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 how did you take it? I went through phases with my social media take on the riot. What was your What was your thoughts? My social media take, I mean, just overall from a from a social perspective of watching this happen in our city, uh, uh, it was very disheartening. I was completely confused by it because I didn't, uh, unlike, I, I guess I'm a bit of an optimist, and I, I didn't expect uh, this the community to break out in this type of behavior. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I wouldn't go around saying I was completely disgusted by Vancouver, which is a comment that many people have said. And the reason why I wouldn't do that is because I don't think it was Vancouver people in general that were that were doing this. It was a small handful of people. Um, and based on the fact that, you know, some of them were pouring, had brought gasoline uh, in, in little eyedrop containers or whatever it was that they were using in order to light cars on fire. This was obviously planned by people, whether or not the hockey team won <coughs> or lost. So Exactly. You don't come downtown with a balaclava in your pocket. Exactly. Yeah. I think that... Uh, now, the, the, the follow in the social media follow that followed mm-hmm. though, with the, the Facebook page being up that evening already, you know, within hours of the riot of trying to identify the, uh, the, the people that were causing trouble. How, what did, how did you, what was your take on how, how Facebook played a role in that and social media played a role? And then we saw sites come up like, uh, public humiliation.com suddenly <laughs> sprung up with people's pictures on them. I know there's a Vancouver riots.com, a Vancouver riots.ca I noticed sprung up. Um, I covered it mostly from a, I was interested to seeing how the media had, what was covering mm-hmm. it and how they were using social media in order to, to cover it. And w- one of the things I found really interesting was how CTV got on it right away and had ca- uh, footage from their live chopper right on their blog. Uh, so instead of like, you're, you're flipping through the channels and you're trying to find information on this and obviously it's not making it to television right away. Um, but you could go online and you could find it and people were tweeting out the links left, right and center of photos that they had taken, um, videos that they had taken and, and, and that. That was really powerful in order to get, truly get news the moment that it was happening. Yeah, it had it had actually from that perspective the fact that it was breaking on social media faster than the mainstream media could follow. It almost had, it was almost reminiscent of the uh, the Osama bin Laden assassination where they uh, or the killing when mm-hmm. did you hear the story about the ballpark in 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 Philadelphia where uh, within about three or four hours after the killing uh, it hadn't reached the mainstream media yet, but people were be suddenly being in, in a baseball game in Philadelphia. Yeah. All of a sudden, with 40,000 people there, they broke out spontaneously into God Bless America because they'd been tweeted in over about 10 minutes through tweeting and social media. The entire crowd of this ball game knew what had happened before it was on the scoreboard or in the news or on the radio or anywhere. And that's the power of social media is yeah. just the fact. Now, now, the downside of it is that, we, and we've heard of these stories before, we're in the wrong information can travel fast. And so, yeah. I mean, we've, we've seen it go out. I can't remember which uh, uh, sports legend it was, but someone ha- had been reported, had passed away and oh. through social media channels, it was, and it was completely inaccurate. Yeah, that was that was Burns, the, uh, the, yes. the, the hockey coach. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah there yeah, we go. So, yeah. I mean, it, it works in the opposite direction as well. But um, did you hear about how uh, the Vancouver Police Department, though, was actually using the social media clips in order to uh, compile their investigative research? They put up a website right yeah. away so yeah. that people could upload their photos, their videos and things yeah. like that. Like how powerful is that? And, and that's, that's the plus side. And then the negative side on that same, on that same vein is now people are suddenly being publicly outed and, and we're, you know, we're mm. having young offenders with their names being published. So a, a huge challenge, but definitely social media is now is continuing to evolve the way we look at the world. Let's, let's have some fun now. Tell me some, <laughs> tell me what, cause you've always got some of the coolest apps that, that, uh, that always seem, I seem never to be in jive with you of what apps I use. So what, what apps are, 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 are rocking your world these days? Well, social score is an interesting one for me and <clears> I, <laughs> okay, I just, I just, I just install it. So tell us about social score and then I'll tell you whether or not I want to tell you what my score is. Okay. So social score, it, it, it syncs up with, um, with a social influence metric called clout.com and it will tell you what your social influence, um, uh, 
popularity is or score is online, and it takes into account your LinkedIn, how active you are on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, a social, the average social score, if you were to sign up uh, for it with uh, moderate use in the, on those websites, you'd probably rank at about a 28. Uh, most of the people that, oh, Steve's giving me the look. Like, what, Just what is keep yours? Going. Just okay. keep going. A really good one that I've seen um, for uh, someone who has a lot of influence in the, in the Vancouver, British Columbia market uh, is around 70. And that's really, really high. Mm-hmm. So, but you have to. You have to be working your butt off in social media in order to get that. And see, this is the thing. Okay, I'm a 34. Well, but it only That's asked me. It only asked me my Twitter name. It didn't ask me my Facebook's login. It didn't ask me my LinkedIn. So I got to go in. and I got to put those in. So what you'll have to do is go on to clout.com, which is K-L-O-U-T.com, oh, okay. and set up your account so that it's it's actually checking so it's all tracking. three websites. Because I'm I'm way more influential than 34. Oh, I'm telling yeah. you right now, I'm at least a 37. You're at least an 80. Oh, give Come me a on. break. What are you? <laughs> I'm a 55. I've dropped five points in three days because <laughs> I haven't been tweeting. It's it's like it's like saying you like. Uh, that's like asking somebody how much they weigh and they say, but I've gained five pounds. <laughs> it's if you've dropped, if you've dropped four points. So, so, but you, here's the thing that I think we need to understand. And everybody that wants to be ranked on the internet and do those things is you can end up chasing these sort of rankings and stuff like this. And, and, and uh, don't tweet just to be out there tweeting. If mm. you got something to say, you know, that's it. And I know that you that you typically post really useful stuff. I, I don't see too much useless stuff coming from Lindsay. But. <laughs> well, I think a lot of it too is uh, mm. they, it measures your enca- uh, engagement. It mm. measures your reach, like mm-hmm. your true reach of people. So it isn't just about volume. It's about quality of how you interact well, I like with people that because online. because it says true reach, it's 277. Because I know I don't do a lot on Twitter. But so that's that's the number of people that are actively engaged in reading. And that sounds like a more reasonable number than the eight or nine hundred that I have, mm-hmm. that have that have actually signed up to follow me. So that's so that's good. And then it, so that's called social score for those of us who are insecure online. What else, <laughs> what else, what else you got? <laughs> well, here's one that I really liked. And actually, my sister, Michelle, introduced it to me. It's called Instagram. And she's a photographer. And I was complaining to her how I hate using my iPhone for photos. I'm like, yes, it's got HD photographs on it. But I'm like, I hate taking pictures of myself. I, it just drives me crazy and she goes she, so I took a picture of myself and I showed her and she goes oh you're right you look terrible she goes why don't you use the app Instagram and I was like well I hadn't heard about it yet and what it does is it's kind of like a social network for photographers or people just who want to take pictures with their with their mobile phone but it also has a, a bunch of filters on it so when you take the picture not only does this the normal filter make you look better but you could do like kind of like the 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 oh I'm not a photographer so I, I don't know what all the filter names are but it's uh, Actually, let me just go into it right now. There's things like your early bird look and, and Apollo, which gives you kind of like a gray spaceship so this, is, this is for when <laughs> you're holding the phone out at arm's length and taking a picture of yourself. Or any photo. And, it, and it just cleans it up? It cleans it up, yeah. It Instagram. Makes it, yeah, and then you can share it with other, you can share the photos with other people, you can post it on your social networks, all sorts of stuff. Okay, Instagram. So you got time for one more quick one. Yes, let's talk about one password. Let's talk about and that. And say, that is a saving grace for those of us that have a million counts, uh, accounts online and we're constantly trying to remember what our password is. So 1Password is an app that works on your phone. It's also a website so you can use it on your PC. It does cost money. I'm trying to remember. I think it's like $9.99 mm-hmm. uh, per device that you're using it on. But what happens is every time you log into a website, you have the choice of saving the password for that so, so, you, so you'll never forget it again and it can autofill. The other thing I like about it is it's very secure, so you can generate like ten digits. So it's really difficult. Really difficult passwords. As long as you remember one good password. As l- yes, you only need the one good password that you'll never forget, and then you can manage it all. But that's that's the ideal place to be. Yeah, and 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 that, does it not concern you to have just one password? Because if somebody gets that account, then they get access to everything. Doesn't that concern you a little bit? Uh, I I'm so it, it, yeah. I'm always I, saying I, it to be never, devil's Yeah, fair enough. I've just never run into those problems before. Yeah. Maybe I'm just lucky, and I haven't heard that many horror stories. And one password has a really good reputation in the industry. So, yeah. and the bottom line is, more more problems with passwords are caused by forgetting your password and all the time we waste <laughs> yeah. recovering our password. Then, then, then the theft. Although I guess people that have had their That's identity true. theft might, might, might disagree. Uh, let's make a crack at Sony. As long as Sony's not behind <laughs> the app, then we're okay. Hey, Instagram. <laughs> That's uh, sorry. One password. Our motto is: We're not Sony. <laughs> Lindsay Smith's not Sony either. Digital Living Evangelist at lindsaysmith.com. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> We're not 